How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome back to another nah, decent game in World of Tanks Xbox One Edition. Today I will be in the brand new unlock tank that I just unlocked, completing the chisel contract. And yeah, you guessed it, it's the chisel. It's got the turret of an M48 Patton. It has the gun of the Chieftain with a little more aim time. It has... Uh, the chassis of the Centurion Action X, as well as the speed, and uh, that's pretty much the tank. Oh, and it has space armor all around the damn tank, so that helps a lot with side scraping. Although, if people know where to shoot the patent turret while it is side scraping, then they know that they can also pen the tank like that. So, it's not like overpowered or anything. <laughs> But it certainly helps. This tank in this game has a very shit crew on it. It's not even 100% trained, hence why the aim circle is so long. But uh, sorry, the aiming time looks like it's so long, and it is longer than the the uh, chieftain's gun. The chieftain has a 1.7 or 1.5 aim time, and this thing has a 2.3 aim time. Although the accuracy remains the same, it's a speedy little fucker. And it's very accurate indeed. Um, 0 0.32, I believe. 0 0.31? 0 .0, but it's either 0 0.31 or 0 0.32 for the accuracy. And you get hash rounds with 140 pens. So, <laughs> on a medium tank! <laughs> so funny. But, uh, shell velocity is the same. Everything for the Chieftain Gun is the same, including shell velocity, just like the view range for the Patton's turret is going to be the same on this thing. Patton misses me, I hit him in his turret. So that's pretty funny. Uh, I, 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 I gotta say, I love this thing. It's a shame that its upper hull is so ass, because people, a lot of people, or at least I am guilty of doing it from time to time, will shoot into its uh, lower plate where the spaced armor is and then shit just bounces off it because it, it gets absorbed into the spaced armor so if you want to pen this thing while you're face hugging it just shoot the upper plate it looks like it's angled and armored but it's not just uh yeah shoot the upper plate even at a severe angle you can pen it with premium so pretty funny semi reliably too don't know what this M46 Patton is doing I am not gonna repair my tracks for that I know his reload is Oh, and the reload is what? Like, 8 seconds without cola on? Or whatever this mercenary tank is capable of having for premium consumables. But, uh, yeah, very good tank. I should have aimed that one better. Don't, I'm really fluffing shots here that I should not be. Uh, and this is me screwing up once again. I shoot the T-30. Looks like the shell goes either through him or I bounce off a part of his turret. And he gets away scot-free because I'm an idiot. Oh, no, he doesn't, because the AMX 5100 finishes him off. So I come over here, immediately realize my mistake, and I am exceedingly lucky that E4 did not dick into me for 800 plus, or a little bit less than that damage. That would have sucked. Or is it 750 now? Either way, that... Whatever the alpha damage is for the top tier tank destroyers. You can tell how often I play them. But, yeah. It's... Oh, this tank, it's fast, it's accurate, and I love it. It's great, and it handles uh, ridgelines with great ease, because patent turret, and it just feels good, guys. It feels good, and while I will still disagree that any grind involving whatever it is, the 3.5 million XP for a free tier 10 tank is a little excessive... Well, it wouldn't be excessive if they didn't limit your your use of tanks. This is a little sneaky shot here. Ah, right into the uh, oho. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, no tank is worth grinding for, in my opinion, for the contracts. Despite how good they may be, it's not really fun to limit the tank palette that you can use. Because, wait, what is this E4 doing? Like, I was an idiot for going where I was going. When I was faced off against him for the first time and he missed me, I was really hoping to blow off his turret there. That would have been pretty cool. But, oh well. But, like, he comes around the corner and not only do I ammo rack him, but he just tries to snapshot me. 
With the patent turret? I don't think that's going to happen, pal. Ugh. Just idiots in every game. It's always impressive to me how many there are. And I'm, I'm no exception. <laughs> but I see there's a heavy tank to my left. Really healthy E5. I don't really want to take the chance to deal with him by myself. So I just get into this little hull down position. And yeah, there's more tanks over here, but I'm pretty sure that they're not so healthy that I couldn't deal with them if they tried to make a move on me. So I'd rather come over here instead, where my team is, instead of isolating myself over in G3. But yeah, that was the mentality of why I was doing what I was doing. And this tank's running away, I was like, oh, that's a shame, I can't get any more damage. And then they start to cap our base. Because that's what you do in a top, a top tier heavy tank, is you cap bases instead of getting more damage. Some people like just like to win. Ah, some people just like to win. Other people, like myself, play the game to get high damage, standing, three marks, and just better damage overall. And that's what increases stats. Not capping bases. You care about your win rate, that's fine. It doesn't show how good a player you are if you have, like, an exceedingly uh, large amount of capture points. All it means is that you screwed your team out of more damage. And you're a coward, I guess? Yeah, that's fair to say. I don't know. I don't respect capping bases in pretty much automatically winning situations. But it's just a difference of opinion, and I'll, I'll never do it. It's just not my style of play. I don't enjoy capping bases. It's not fun. Plus, you're letting the enemy know where you are, and that's just begging to lose the game. Or just getting YOLO'd, or... Uh, swarmed with enemies. But, <clears throat> who am I? Just another tanker. And, ooh, who's this? M103? Ooh, oh, I do bad things. I do bad things here. I, I, I deal with him fine. Everything's fine. He gets a free pen into me. Oh, well. I've got better DPM than he does. Put a free shot into the top of his turret, overmatching it, because a 120mm gun is all you need to overmatch the... M103's turret, and then I try to put a shot into his turret ring and I fail miserably because that fucking slope made me turn upside, well not upside down, but like to the side, and I couldn't control my descent, and it was just not good. It was going too quick, my turret couldn't keep up, I'm an idiot, the end. So even with a non-trained crew to 100%, I managed to get, in my first game, pay attention to the XP earned on this screen, 7,407 uh, XP earned. This was my first game in this thing. <laughs> so retarded. But it is not overpowered. I refuse to say that because it is not. Even with the spaced armor, even with the side scripting capability, even with it on, you still can pen this thing in the side. No problem with heat. As long as you don't hit the spaced armor location. Which, it's very prominent, it shows up, and even if it doesn't, just aim for like the topper, the topper? The higher half of the chassis instead of the middle, and you should be able to go through it, no problem. But, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to leave me a like, comment, or even subscribe to my channel, as it does help me out, both with self-esteem and motivation to play this game even more. So, thank you, and I'll catch you next time.